Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create the node template for the content type in a Drupal 8, 9 and 10. So when we have a custom content type, it is important to have a control over how the content is displayed on the front end of the site. Drupal provides a flexible templating system that allows developers to create custom template for each content types. So giving them control over markup and layout of their content. So right now I have this employee data content type and in that content type these are the fields and these fields by default display like this and uh, by inspecting you can see these fields are shown by adding some classes the field label class is added and for the this name the field item is class is added now i want to show these fields by adding some custom classes or i want to show this all this data in a single div so for that we need to create the custom template for the content type so in which file we need to add this custom code for that first we need to enable the debugging for the peak templates and here are the some steps so for that first we need to go to the our default size defaults folder and uh, change this defaults uh, services file to the services.yaml and inside that change the debug parameters value to the true so we will go to the size default size default folder in that folder here we have the default.services.yaml file I will copy and paste it rename it as a services.ml and change the debug attributes to the true right now it is false so we will change it to the true now clear the cache The cache is clear now go to the core page and i will show we don't know the from which file output is coming now i will refresh it will give us the suggestion of the files and on that basis we will create the node template for this content type So here you can see now we are getting the suggestions for this node templates and we will check for the node so right now the output is coming from this file node.html.pick file now we need to create the template for the node content type for that we will create the file with this name node hyphen hyphen employee data dot html dot quick so here you can see the star means the output is coming from this file and now we will create the file with this name and you can also see the location of that file as well it is placed in the core themes vertex templates node dot html so right now i don't have any custom theme I'm using the de default themes, so we'll create this file as well in the default theme. Now I'll go to this path core themes party templates folder, and in that folder we create the one node folder. So this is the themes party template, and inside this folder I will create the one folder to create the node template, and inside this folder create the file with that name so in this file name first is the node hyper hyper next is the content type name my content type name is employee underscore data so we need to replace the underscore with hyphen and after that html dot week save this file now copy the content from this file the default file and we'll remove the the default content now I'll paint the data in a div with class equal to Drupal Apple Academy.
and print the content variable. So this content variable will print the whole data. Clear the cache. The cache is clear. Now go to the page. You can refresh it. So right now you can see the output is coming from this file. Now it will show the output is coming from node hypericon employee hypericon data dot html dot quick. So here you can see the x sign is just before the this file means the output is coming from this and this is the div which we have printed class equal to Drupal Academy and inside this all fields are printed. Now we want to print the single field. For that, I will show you how to print the single field in this node template. Now suppose I want to print this first name field with the label. So for that, I will go to this file, contain dot and the machine name of the field. First name, machine name is a field underscore name. So in this case, it will print the this field with the label like name and the actual name value. So I will show you the output of that. Here the cache. Cache is clear. I will refresh this page. So you can see the output. You will get the output. This name field and the name actual name. So here you can see we, we are getting the output like this. Now suppose if I want to just print the this name text, so for that I will add the dot zero. It will print the name only. So I will add one more div class equal to name. So close this div. Clear the cache. The cache is clear. Now go to the page. Refresh the page. Now you can see we are getting this name field inside this class equal to name and parent div is the Drupal Academy. And now I will print the other fields like field email and the field gender. For that I will just copy and paste this. Paste the email gender gender and the email in clear the cache cache is clear again refresh the page and check the output so here you can see we are getting the fields this is the name the email and the gender and these are the classes we have added so in this way we can create the template node template for the content type in a Drupal. So I will once again explain you. So first we have created this node hyper hyper employee hyper data dot html dot quick file inside the our theme. If you have the custom theme, you can create that in your custom theme. And inside this file we have printed these values by adding our own classes the output is display like this i hope this video is useful for you please subscribe the channel so that you will get notified whenever i create the, any new content on a drupal thank you for watching